Greetings, 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 my sports to the bone people. Back at it again in my viewers and subscribers. Yes, man. All right. So, CWI, CWI. I was doing some reading earlier today. And I saw where our CEO, Johnny Grave, he was speaking about the West Indies um, selection uh, policy. And he was saying that, listen, they are not planning to change anything right now. They are working on the policy and there will be no sort of changes going into the World Cup. According to Johnny Grave, they will reveal the new policy after the 1st of July. He was also saying that there is no immediate plan to replace um, Roland Butcher, who recently left the post or he wasn't his contract wasn't renewed so desmond haynes will continue to run things so we're gonna take a look at that plus we see where england and india they are once again doing battle in uh tests and i must say that basketball is definitely under some pressure after day one so just give a listening ear until the end and let me know what you all think in the comment section. All right. So I am taking this information from the Jamaica Gleaner. So shout out to the Jamaica Gleaner. And they were talking about, um, well, they have um, the information here from uh, our CEO, Johnny Grave. And he was saying that there are no immediate plans right now to replace... Um, Roland Butcher, who recently left um, the post of selector, right? He was there as a selector. According to Johnny Grave, uh, the lead selector, Desmond Haynes, will continue to run things. And, you know, the captains and the coaches, they will have a say in the teams that they want to be selected. So... Let me just read here. So this is Johnny Grave and I quote, The selection policy and the selection panel are currently under review by, by the director of cricket, Miles Bascom. So Miles Bascom is looking into all of this. They said that, and I don't expect that report to go to um, our board before announcing our 15-member squad for the ICC Men's T20 World Cup. End quote for now. So, He's saying that Miles Bascom is looking on the select um on the policy, looking um to put a panel together, but all of that will not go to the board before they they select that um squad for the World Cup, right? And we know the World Cup starts in the first week of June there. So according to Johnny Grave, this will happen after that, right? <laughs> Um, he went on to say, and I quote, Obviously, head coach Darren Sammy and incumbent T20 captain Ravman Powell will have a, a view about the players they want, um, the, the, you know, the, about the players they want in the team. He's saying that Desmond Haynes will obviously lead the process as head selector. End quote. Right, so... You know, going into us work into a World Cup or into a Test or ODI T20 series, whatever it is, you know the head coach and the captain will usually have a little say, right, in terms of the direction that they they they, they want the squad to to go. You know, or, or how they want the squad to look. But um, the lead selector will obviously lead the process. So those who are wondering um, if we are going to hear of a new selector um, or, or a new select new committee. Our new panel, uh, we're not going to hear none right now. So going into the World Cup, lead selector Desmond Haynes, along with the head coach Darren Sammy and captain Ravman Powell, they will have to be the ones, they will be the ones to um, put the team together. He went on to say, and I quote, the current structure, having had such a successful year last year, we uh, beat South Africa, um, you know, in South Africa, and we followed up uh, with a series wins against England and India. But obviously, we lost the series against Australia 2-1, but we won um, 
we won that last game there. So he's saying that we had some success last year and, you know, we won the last game there against Australia. But there are still some things that need to be um, tightened. So he's saying hopefully that means we will have a settled squad, um, barring injuries leading into the World Cup. So the changes that we expect to make in terms of selection policy and selection panel won't happen until after the World Cup. Right, so they are working with the guys that they have now that, you know, people don't come in with new ideas to come and select people that were not a part of the, 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 the squad, you know, or they weren't in the picture. Um, you know, I, I hear people throwing some names out there that they want to be in the squad and they are not talking about guys that are there now that were a part of the, 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 the squad that, you know, won those three series um the india south africa and and england we don't hear the people mentioning those guys they're just talking about people that are out of form that they think should be in the squad i hear people throwing names out there and saying that these guys should always be in the squad and i i am wondering to myself how is it that they can always be in the squad and they're not performing you know <laughs> it's it's really weird it's really weird but i just wanted to to, to share that with you guys they, they 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 are working on the policy they are working on the panel but they don't want to mess things up. They don't want to do any changes, um, you know, prior to the World Cup. So they are working on that. Um, let's move on from uh, the CWI there to take a look at the final test match between England and India. Right? India, they are leading the series 3-1. And this is the final test. Um, England, they were rooted out, my people, for 218 inside day one 57.4 overs right we saw um cool deep yadav and ashwin doing the damage right cool deep yadav uh he picked up five for 72 ashwin four for 51 I think ashwin is playing in his hundred test match my viewers and subscribers so you know doing the damage there for them um in terms of the batting for england zach crawley 79 half 108 ben Duckett 27 Oli pope 11 joe root 26 johnny bearstow 29 half 18 ben stokes the captain he didn't score um you know and, and and that is basically how it looked so they went from 64 for one to 100 for two 137 for three from 137 for three they lost wickets at regular intervals uh 175 for four uh 175 for five 175 for six 183 for seven 183 for eight 218 for nine 218 all out so that is how things went where the batting is concerned. Now, when it was time for India to take um, bat, well, for India to bat, they finished off the day having faced 30 overs. They were 135 for one. So India, they are trailing by 83 runs and they have all of um, nine wickets in hand. Batting for India so far, Jiswal, 57 or 58. Captain Roy Sharma, he's still at the crease on 52 of 83. Shubman Gill is also there on 26 of 39. Right, so India, I tell you, <laughs> and they're not even at their full strength, but they are off to a good start in this final test match here. So just wanted to share some of that. So India, they trail by 83 runs. Um, they still have nine wickets in hand. So that is it for your morning update. Hope you guys have a productive day and I'll see you all later. Big up.